Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you Flex Clip, which is an online video editor I've come across, which um, I'm liking. You can actually get started for free, and then you can also upgrade to basic and plus plans. Uh, the big difference you'll probably notice is the resolution. So um, certainly you can get started for free. I'll put links in the description so you can come check this out if you want. Uh, but you can get started for free, like I said, just to try it out, see how it works. I wanted to just show you a couple examples, though, um, or show you, work, actually work through a bit of an example to kind of show you what I like about it. And also, just real quick, here's some of the features you can do. You can actually trim video, which is nice. You can add music. Um, I like that you can also record voiceover. I want to show you how that works. Um, you can combine multiple video clips and photos. Um, and uh, you can even, yeah, split video, zoom in video, rotate video. Uh, it, there's actually quite a bit you can do, which again is why this uh, actually I was pretty impressed by this. So let me go ahead and jump into working on a clip here for you, how to choose a laptop. Now you can um, actually hear some music when it's playing. I'm going to go ahead and customize it. They actually do include music. You can get rid of the music um, or you can do something different there. But uh, what we have down here, you can see these different little uh, storyboards and so you can add new storyboards you can add local media uh, you can add a background add stock media just to keep things simple for today I'm just gonna kinda work with what they have but um, one of the things I liked here is all the different different ways you can do text uh, that can come up and you can of course just get rid of it um, but actually pretty cool looking and then the one uh, let's see that I kinda like too is if we go to Oh, I'm sorry, the overlays, like this one down at the bottom here. Again, kind of nice, like almost like low, you know, lower third type things there that you can then customize. Same thing on the side. But then you can go ahead and double click on it. You can edit the text. Um, maybe you want to say choosing the best laptop. Um, yeah, there it is. And then if you just want to change it to plain text, you can. By just clicking there, you can change the colors up here, you can make it white. Uh, if you want to do it kind of globally, uh, I should show you there. You can actually apply it to across all your storyboards if you want the same thing being done. And so, you know, a lot of it's just very intuitive. If you've used any type of design things before, you know, the way you can design, uh, or I'm sorry, expand and increase the size, drag things around. Um, and then here, I just want to show you. So if you want to actually record a clip, Hey guys, so do you ever want to know how to choose the best laptop? And then if you actually play this. Hey guys, so do you ever want to know how to choose the best And when I listen to that, I'm like, okay, the music was too loud. So I'm going to go over here, click on music, drop this down to, let's say, like 10 or something like that. And we'll try it again. Hey guys, so do you ever want to know how to choose the best Yeah, and so that's what I like about this. You actually seem to get a little more control which I like. And then you can trim the music, you can add music, you can delete the music. Um, so, and then here's the, the loop. Um, just lots of great things you can change. Uh, let's see, let's go, if you want to change the uh, look there as well, um, you can do that. And then see the other adjustments. You can even do a vignette, which I think is kind of cool. Um, animations, you can change that in as well, like where it'll kind of slowly zoom in or zoom out, go to the top. Um, these are all things I'm used to using. Like I like to use ScreenFlow a lot just for, uh, I've gotten pretty fast at it. And it's nice that these can be done very quickly, uh, which is, which is kind of cool. And then going on to the next one. Uh, so here we have this one over here, which again, if you don't like it, you can find something different. Um, slide up. Um, do a center line and uh, again double click on that say okay that looks good maybe over here we have the black and white so maybe we want to switch it to white and pink you know whatever it might be and then we got it uh, right aligned center aligned left aligned and maybe we want to move this over here but then maybe we want to do it with a darker color um, Something like that. Yeah, so you can kind of, again, just kind of play around that way. Um, same thing here. So that's kind of the idea behind this. Let me make sure that I, if there's anything else I wanted to show you real quickly on this first one. Yeah, you can change the fonts. Uh, you can change, you know, the size, uh, sizing of the fonts, the opacity, uh, ratio. And then, see, when we click on this, 
Here's where you can also kind of change things up um, as well and do something different. Uh, see that a little bit different there. Try another font, Poppins, Oswald. Yeah, and just like before, you can then enlarge it if you want. Uh, let's see, we're on number three. Let's see what number four looks like. Yeah, there we go. So lots of cool things you can do. And then at the very, let's see, at the very end, did it have a logo? Yeah, if you want to drop in a logo, uh, you can do that. Oops, okay, there we go. Um, and then here you can click on, you know, here if you want to up to up, upload a logo. Uh, let's see if I have something here I can just put in there. Yeah, um, again, enlarge it. something along those lines like that. And I like, you notice the little purple bar that shows up, you get those little lines to help you kind of get it centered and so forth. Again, I like those little, little tools there. Um, I think that was, again, the main thing I wanted to show you there on how this works. And so then the last thing you can do is to go ahead and export it. And if you're, again, using the free plan, uh, for it'd be 40p and then you could do basic or plus plan. And then you just click next. You can hey guys, give it a so title. You ever want to know how to choose um, the best? And uh, we'll call it choosing the best laptop. And then export video. And then away it goes. And that's all there is to it. So again, it's pretty cool. You can use this online. Um, I would say if it looks interesting to you and you do these kind of you know video clips or video editing feel free to you know start with the, the free plan see how that works for you see if you can find something you like check out the templates um, you know there's some templates that like a lot of uh, templates uh, you know they're kind of a little cheesy or maybe maybe not what I would want but I like that you can certainly upload your own so this was in this video I just wanted to show you what it would look like using some of their templates doing some of the uh, using some of the tools they have and then in another video uh, I want to show you just like actually using my own media, my own clips, and uh, kind of a more of a starting from scratch kind of a thing, building my own video and showing you kind of some things you can you can do that way and what you can come come up with. I uh, just kind of give you a vision of how you can use it. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you want to get started, I'll put links down in the description as well. Um, if there's any special coupons or deals or anything along those lines, um, you know I'll be sure and put that down there as well. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.